Hi you guys! Happy Thursday! Bonus video! My name is Sarah, welcome to my little shop. This is 445 Designs. I am doing a collaboration slash celebration with Maggie over on Flip Furniture Mom. It's really hard for this Aussie to say mom. It's usually wants to come out mum. But Maggie has been on YouTube for a year and she asked me if I would do a collaboration with her. Maggie, I am so honored that you would ask me. Thank you very much. Maggie is amazing, you guys. You should go over and check her channel. She flips furniture to help pay for her daughter's uh, university tuition. That is amazing and a beautiful motivation for making over furniture. So you guys go over and show us some love, watch her video, subscribe and all the things. I will link everything below. This guy, it was a bonus side table. I went to pick up another side table. You, it may jog your memory. I think I've mentioned this to you. And the guy was like, I have another one out the back. And I was like, oh. Okay, well this is the one that was out the back. Or was the other piece the one that was out the back? And I went to pick up this piece. I don't remember, <laughs> you guys, it doesn't matter. That's how I found this piece on Facebook Marketplace and I will be making this over today. Maggie would like to do that uh, linen technique that you, the fabric technique that you may have seen going around on YouTube. So I will be trying that out today. I hope you're excited and ready for this bonus video. I cannot wait to share it with you guys. Let's get into it. It has been repaired. I had to really sand the top back. Some of the finish was coming away and it left patches. I've shellacked it. Just the top. The, the underneath didn't need it. I am going to be painting a first layer of Annie Sloan in Old Okra, which is like a off-white, cream white, using my anti-sloan brush and I'm just gonna go in. So I realized at this point I probably shouldn't go in crazy crazy and I started going in <laughs> more delicately in straight lines rather than just going in and going every which way. So I would recommend that.
Alrighty. Coat number two. It is dry. I have lightly sanded it. What I'm going to do right now on this surface is roll some gold. So hang on to your hats, people. This could work or it could go completely pear-shaped. Put two layers, okay, of the old okra on the flat surfaces, not the legs. Honestly, I, I don't know what I'm doing with them yet. We'll see, you know, we'll get to the end and then I'll decide. I have Golden Ticket, okay? It's liquid patina by DIY. It's in gold, obviously. Golden Ticket. This could go well or it could go badly. Well, it's not gonna go badly. It just might be a wasted step. I'm hoping that the gold shows up on the last layer. I am using 50-50 mixture of Oxford Navy by Annie Sloan and Valspar Clear Glaze. Mix that in really, really well. I'm using a synthetic brush to get it on there and get it on there nice and even. Then I'm coming in with a little surprise. I am using a sheepskin brush by Minwax, I got it from my local Lowe's. And I'm also going to be using, and I got this from Amazon, a brush. It's just a wallpaper smoothing brush, it's called, but it's made of nylon bristles. This is my second attempt at this. I did a first attempt and I wanted to see how it worked. I watched on woolly.com so they're the makers of a brush like this. And they have a whole bunch of techniques that you can use with a sheepskin brush. The things that they're applying it to is a wall. And I was curious to see if it would work on furniture, and it does. So what I've done, right, is I've done a wide enough area, get the paint on there, then smooth it out with a final stroke, right? And then go over it with my wool brush, my sheepskin brush. And it drags, I forget what they called it. There's a name for it. It starts with an S. Anyway, I'll look it up and post it in the pop-up words just take your sheepskin brush and you drag it and it makes lines now I the first time I did this this worked as well this worked in the first round but then when I came let it all dry and I came to do it this way it didn't work as well so when I do this way I'm going to use a nylon brush but I just wanted to show you that little gem that I found, a little technique that's fun and it's giving nice striae, striae? No, something, I forget what it's called, maybe, maybe it's called striae, anyway, um, yeah, I thought that was fun, a little different from everybody else's, yes, I've watched everybody else's videos on how to do this, but I that came across my Pinterest feed and I thought it was an interesting thing that I wanted to share with you, see if it worked.
thickened coat. Oi. On there. Now, went that way, so I'm gonna go that way. I haven't done it the other way, right? Where you do one coat and drag it one way and then drag it the other way. So I don't know, I can't speak to what it's like doing that way. But I'm noticing now, right now, on this, I can see good texture from the first layer. So that's exciting. I'm just gonna stipple the navy directly over the legs, give it some texture of a different kind. I'm really happy with it. I see the texture, I see the lines. I feel like it needs some white wax though, so we'll go, we'll see how this goes. <laughs> but, you know, like everything, I'll just give it a go. We need to finish it up today. I'm feeling stressed. <laughs> Video comes out Thursday, today is Tuesday. <laughs> I need to get this done. It's bringing out all the texture on there. Maggie, thank you so much for asking me to do this. I wish you all the best. I wish you all the success with your business in flipping and helping your daughter pay back her tuition. And I just wish you success in general with your YouTube channel. 
you're an amazing artist and I always love watching you make over your pieces. This piece was a lot of fun. I like this technique. I will be doing this technique again. I think I would like to try it on a wall. Maybe. I don't know. I don't think my landlord would be down for that. But <laughs> one day I will try it on a wall. But I think I'd like to try it on a dresser as well. What did I learn about this technique? The video that I watched from woolly.com, they were doing a wall, right? They laid down the chalk paint and glaze mix evenly and then they dragged the sheepskin thing down the wall. Then they let it dry and they did it that way and then they dragged it that way, right? So they did two layers of it. I have seen people put this on furniture and they really only do one layer. I probably would do the second way next time. I wouldn't do two layers. It made it kind of thick and you sort of lose the color underneath. So I lost the cream. That gold was completely useless. <laughs> it was a wasted layer <laughs> because I had two layers of paint on there and it just really just covered it right up. But mate, that white wax, holy cow. Like, I was afraid once I put that top coat on, I completely lost all the texture and I was like, oh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to sand it back and redo it. And then I was like, you know what? I might just try some wax and see if that brings it out. And I was a bit nervous about it, but it worked. It totally worked. And that wax brought out all the, I was gonna say grain, but it's not grain. The faux linen te texture. That's the word I'm looking for. The faux linen texture, it brought it all out and it just added, it was definitely the cherry on top. And I use uh, a gold metallic spray paint to bring those pools back to life. And I was gonna put feet on it, but to be honest, this piece, these pieces that I've seen don't have feet. This is the style where it sits low to the ground like that. And I bought some but it was like $7 for a foot. So it's like once you buy all the hardware and everything, you're looking at like $30, $35. And I'm just not gonna make my money back because I only have a single, I don't have two. So those feet are going back to Lowe's and I think it looks pretty good the way it is without the feet. So I saved myself some money there. And if I had the room, I, you know what? I'm going to say it, I would have kept it, but I'm not going to, I've got to sell it. Alright you guys, that was it for the bonus video, I hope you liked it, I hope you enjoyed this technique, if you haven't already, go on over and check, on, check out Maggie's video, she will be doing the same technique, I love that right, about this technique, all the videos I've watched, all the ladies who have done it. All of our pieces turn out differently. And I will see you guys on Saturday. If you're up and you feel like watching a video with me, I will be premiering my video on Saturday at 9 a.m. Central. How am I old enough to have a driver? That's crazy. Gone to college, she's driving. Oh. And I hope to see you guys then. Bye.